and welcome back to the Neck for Adventure YouTube channel. My name is AJ Cutler and today we are at the midweek mountain bike race at Snowbird. I just want to give another great shout out to Grip It. They sponsored this race and I'm super stoked to go try it out. Honestly, I haven't tried the trail yet, so we're going in a little blind. It's going to be a fun time. This is the fit today. We've got the Cosmos Grip It gloves. My party shirt. Ray Red Fast. <laughs> Daddy's judging me. <laughs> I am not. What? I'm just kidding. She understands. <laughs> I was going in with pretty much no knowledge of the course besides scoping it out on Trailforks, but fortunately I had some of my favorite biking gals, including Becky and Elise, who were able to give me a little bit of beta. The full race was two stages. The first stage was down the Big Mountain and Midway trails, and then we ended on the second stage with Baby Thunder, all of which I hadn't explored. However, the up trail was very familiar. So it turns out the uphill for this race is pretty much just up the fire road, the same as the Cirque series. So that was my pre-race for the Cirque series as well. But it was pretty pumpy. That was not fun, but we made it up a lot faster than we thought. So now we have a little bit of a break. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Good job, or not good job, good, good luck. I'll say good job at the end. Five, four, three, Two, one, go! Yeah! Come on, click in. All right, let's ride this blind. I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm pumped. I'm excited to get going. Oh, a little jumpy? Yeah! did warn me about how flat the trail was, but when I was on it and trying to race, I was working hard and pedaling hard. I thought the uphill got me worked, but the downhill was another beast. This was definitely not how I would have ridden the course if I was just going on an evening bike ride with my friends. When it comes to skiing and biking, I'm normally not the person that enjoys going fast. I like taking my time, being safe, and hanging back to hit features. But converting to race mode, it was a challenge, but in a competitive and fun way. And for some reason today, I was just fueled by adrenaline and it felt really, really good. All right, this is the first fire up. Holy 
going, bro. I literally was on the trail and I was like, I see what Addy means. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! We got Addy yeah! cheering us on. Yeah! <laughs> Maddie's right behind us. Yeah! Yeah! Even without a pre-ride, I was really proud of myself for completing stage one in five minutes and 13 seconds. I felt faster than I had anticipated, but it was time for stage two, so we headed back to the fire road to start our climb again. When we were almost to the top, I hopped off my bike to grab a little snack to refuel, which made me realize I had a big problem. Are these 25? Yeah, my tire had gone completely flat. Um, let's right. pump it up and see if we can listen to see where the... Luckily, I did have a couple bike tools with me, including a pump and some bacon strips, but nothing seemed to be working. We called Becky's boyfriend, Bo, who was awesome enough to answer and give us some advice. We ended up tightening my valve stem, which seemed to have been knocked loose. However, I was struggling to pump up my tire without a cartridge, and I was determined to finish the race, so I pumped like my life depended on it. Shortly, the race sweepers were coming up the trail, and they were nice enough to offer some of their CO2 cartridges. Shout out to them, they were awesome. The tire seemed to be holding air after fixing the stem, so I headed off to the starting line. Adrenaline that I have yeah. from pumping up my tire. All right, five seconds. Four, Thank you guys. Three, two, one. Yeah! yeah! See you all at the bottom! I was so worked, but still having fun. Honestly, I think it might have made me go faster because I wanted to get down before I got a flat. But that was about to be the least of my worries. I had this dream. Get back on. Let's keep going. I haven't crashed that hard with my clipless pedals, so it was pretty gnarly because one of my feet stayed clipped in. And at this point, I just wanted to finish. Gonna finish. Gonna be happy. Dude, yeah. my tires. Woo. Done. Flat tire, dude. Crashed a little bit. Dude, that second stage was not for me. But that was fun. I left the second stage with a nice new elbow trail tattoo, a flat tire, and a sixth place finish in my category with a total time of 11 minutes and 22 seconds. If there was an MVP for Bike Buddies, it definitely would have been Becky. Not only did she help me with my flat and help clean my wounds, she also flew down that mountain and took first place in the race. While everything seemed to have gone wrong, I am so glad I got out of my comfort zone with some of my favorite people to ride with. Oh my goodness. What a race. Got a nice flat tire. Gashed open my... Now my phone just fell. That was giving me my lighting. But um, I honestly had so much fun. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to Grip It. I actually just got these gloves that are part of their new collection. So definitely go check those out. Got like a little bit of protection on the fingers, which is sick. And I'm really stoked to try these out. Also huge shout out to all of the girls that were there, Becky especially. She's like wilderness first aid pro. So I was so stoked that she was there to help me out with this. I think we all did really well. Um, we'll see what the times are. I think I'm gonna go home and clean this out a little bit more. <laughs> go kiss Nick and have a good rest of my night. So thank you so much for watching, coming along on this very chaotic 
everything goes wrong kind of phrase. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming outdoor adventure vlogs. And check out Instagram and TikTok for more mountain biking content at AJ Cutler. Thanks so much and keep on crushing. Becky, personal medic. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Thank you.